Dear learners of class 12th, today we are going to discuss chapter 13, Amines of Chemistry subject. After this discussion, you will be able to describe amines as derivatives of ammonia having a pyramidal structure. Classify amines as primary, secondary and tertiary. Name amines by their common names and IUPAC system. Amines represent the most important class of the nitrogen containing organic compounds. Amines can be considered as derivatives of ammonia obtained by replacement of one, two or all the three hydrogen atoms by alkyl or the aryl groups. In nature, they occur among proteins, vitamins, alkaloids and hormones. Synthetic examples include polymers, dye stuffs and drugs. Two biologically active compounds, namely adrenaline and ephedrine, both containing secondary amino group, are used to increase blood pressure. Novocaine, a synthetic amino compound, is used as an anesthetic in dentistry. Benadryl, a well-known antihistaminic drug, also contains tertiary amino group. Quaternary ammonium salts are used as surfactants. Diazonium salts are intermediates in the preparation of a variety of aromatic compounds including dyes. Like ammonia, nitrogen atom of amines is trivalent and carries an unshared pair of electrons. Nitrogen orbitals in amines are therefore sp3 hybridized and the geometry of amines is pyramidal. Each of the three sp3 hybridized orbitals of nitrogen overlap with orbitals of hydrogen or carbon depending upon the composition of the amines. The fourth orbital of nitrogen in all amines contains an unshared pair of electrons. Due to the presence of unshared pair of electrons, the angle between carbon, nitrogen and E, which can be a C or hydrogen, is less than 109.5 degrees. For instance, it is 108 degrees in case of trimethyl amine. Due to the presence of lone pair of electrons on nitrogen atom, amines act as Lewis spaces. Amines are classified as primary, secondary and tertiary depending upon the number of hydrogen atoms replaced by alkyl or aryl groups in ammonia molecule. If one hydrogen atom of ammonia is replaced by R that is the alkyl group or AR that is the aryl group, we get RNH2 or ARNH2, a primary amine. If two hydrogen atoms of ammonia or one hydrogen atom of RNH2 are replaced by another alkyl or aryl group, what would you get? You get RNHR- a secondary amine. The second alkyl or aryl group may be same or different. Replacement of another hydrogen atom by alkyl or aryl group leads to the formation of tertiary amine. Amines are said to be simple when all the alkyl or aryl groups are the same and mixed when they are different. Let us now understand the nomenclature of amines. In common system, an aliphatic amine is named as prefixing alkyl group to amine that is alkylamine as one word. In secondary and tertiary amines when two or more groups are the same the prefix di or tri is applied before the name of alkyl group. In IUPAC system amines are named as alkanamines derived by replacement of E of alkane by the word amine. For example, CH3, CH2, CH2, NH2, a primary amine is named as propanamine. 
in case more than one amino group is present at different positions in the parent chain, their positions are specified by giving numbers to the carbon atoms bearing NH2 groups and suitable prefix such as di, tri, etc. is attached to the amine. The letter E of the suffix of the hydrocarbon part is retained. For example, a secondary amine as shown on the screen is named as N-methylethanamine and a tertiary amine as shown on the screen is named as N-N-dimethylmethanamine. In aryl-amines, NH2 group is directly attached to the benzene ring. C6H5NH2 is the simplest example of aryl-amine. In common system, it is known as aniline. It is also an accepted IUPAC name. While naming aryl-amines, according to IUPAC system, suffix E of arene is replaced by amine. Thus, in IUPAC system, C6H5NH2 is named as benzenamine. A table has been displayed on the screen for you to understand the naming of aliphatic as well as aromatic amines with ease and to also know the common names of a few of them. To summarize this discussion, let us recall the points discussed. Amines are the alkyl or aryl derivatives of amines. They have pyramidal structure and act as Lewis bases. Amines which have been replaced as classified as primary, secondary and tertiary amines depending upon the number of hydrogen atoms of ammonia. In the IUPAC system, the amines are named as alkanamines and their names are obtained by removing the last letter E from the corresponding alkane and attaching the suffix amine. For aromatic amines in the IUPAC system, the parent name of the family that is aniline is known as benzenamine and the other members are regarded as the derivatives of benzenamine. Before we end the discussion, let me leave you with an assignment. You are supposed to write the IUPAC names of the compounds as shown on the screen and also classify them into primary, secondary and tertiary amines. I hope you understood all the concepts discussed in the discussion. Hoping to meet you again. Till then, take care.